Okay, so another example. So we have here the force of 500 newton is the resultant of the forces P and 260 newton acting shown in the figure. So ito yung figure natin. So given a R, which is 500 newton, P is unknown, and then alpha is also unknown. And then next we have here 260 newton given with the slope of yung rise natin is 5 and then yung run natin is 12. Dito naman po on our resultant we have 3 and then 4. So we have to know the this distance. So how to get that by means of trigonometry or yung tinatawag natin Pythagorean theorem. So that is 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 25. The square root of 25 is 5. So lagay natin dyan. Pero on our special triangle, meron na din tayo niyan, 3, 4, 5. Next, we have 5, 12. To get this, same lang then 5 squared plus 12 squared, and then square root nyo, so we have here 13. What if, hindi kayo sanay sa mga ganito, rise, run, or slope, ang gusto nyo is angle. Okay, so ang gagawin nyo lang, tangent. Ano yung tangent natin? Opposite all over adjacent. So, we have 4 all over 3. Diba alam niyo yung soka, towa. Yung towa. Ayan. So, for tangent, we have opposite all over adjacent. Ito yung opposite. 14 adjacent. 3. So, gagawin natin our tangent of 4 all over 3. So, shift arc. Lagay natin dyan. Shift tangent. Sorry. 4 divided by 3, so we have 53.13 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, hindi yun yung alpha, okay? Ito yun, from this point sa R hanggang dito, that is your theta, which is 53.13. Okay, kinonvert lang natin itong 345 into degrees. Pero hindi naman natin yan kailangan. Binibigyan ko lang kayo ng idea on how to get those theta. Okay, next. Doon na tayo sa pinaka-questions. What is P and what is the alpha? Okay, so find alpha. So, how to get alpha? Gamitin natin si summation of fx and also summation of fy. Pero dito muna tayo. Ano yung mga summation of f of x? Alam natin ang summation of fx is your rx component. So, what are those? So, lagay natin rx is equal to ano yung mga summation of fx natin? We have P cosine of alpha cosine of alpha next we have since ito nasa right side siya so lahat ng papunta rito is positive right side so plus 260 imo multiply natin siya ng okay 12, kasi horizontal siya. Horizontal yung 12, ha, yun yung kukunin natin as numerator. And then, ang denominator natin, itong hypotenuse, which is 13. So, our Rx is equal to, pero yung Rx natin, may value. So, paano yung value ng Rx component? Okay? So, we have R to be 500. Lalagay na natin yung component niya, or ito, which is yung 3 horizontal all over natin lagi ito hypotenuse which is 5 so that is and then p cosine alpha plus 260 12 all over 13 so we have 500 times 3 divided by 5 that is 300 is equal to p cosine alpha okay plus 260 multiplied by 12 divided by 13 is 240. So, that's 240. So, ayusin natin, we have P cosine alpha is equal to 6. So, we to transpose natin si 300 dito. Or, kaya naman itong 240 and to transpose natin dito. 300 minus 240 is 60. So, this will become your equation Okay, next, we have summation forces, y, which is, this is also your ry. Lahat naman na upward is positive. So, ibig sabihin yung downward must be negative. So, we have here, ry is equal to p 
sine. So, sine of, yan, sine of alpha. Mean sine of alpha. Kanina, sa x natin, eto, di ba? Kaya, that is your cosine. Next naman, since katapat niya, okay, so that is your sine. Next, minus. Ano naman yung minus? Because nasa downward siya or nandito siya sa, dito sa level na to, sa downward na area. So, that is 260 multiplied by, kunin nyo lang yung vertical and then yung slant niya. So, we have 5 all over 13. So, next, kunin natin what is the value of your RY. So, for your RY, we have 500. We have to get this vertical, which is 4 all over 5. It is equal to P sine alpha minus 260 5 all over 13. 5, all over, uh, 5 multiplied by 4 divided by 5 is 400. Is equal to P sine alpha minus 260 multiplied by 5 divided by 10 is... Bakit? To 10. Where did I get 10? No, 13 yan. Sorry. Mali lang yung naisulat ko. Okay, negative 260 times 5 all over 13 is equivalent to 100. So, if we transpose it here, it will become positive 100. So, 400 plus 100 is 500. So, we put P sine alpha is equal to 500. This must be your equation too. So, to get the alpha, all we have to do is our... Uh, we're going to use our trigo, which is, hilamin natin sa trigo. Sine theta all over cosine theta is equivalent to your tangent theta. So, if we equate, okay, gayahin natin to. If we let this one, P sine alpha is equal to 500. And then we divide it by P cosine alpha is equal to 60. Okay, so we cancel P and P. So, may titira sa atin is sine all over cosine which is equivalent to tangent. So, sine all over cosine is tangent of alpha is equal to 500 all over 60. So, ilan yung 500 all over 60? That is 8.33. And then, if we get this alpha, let's, okay, make tangent, or our tangent, 8.33. So, your alpha is equivalent to 83.16 degrees. So, therefore, our alpha here is equivalent to 83.16 degrees. And then, how do we get the P value? In getting P, we have substitute cosine, or sorry, alpha in 83.16 degrees. So, therefore, so to find P, we have P cosine alpha is equal to 60. We have to substitute alpha, which is 83.16. Next, we have P. Okay, is equal to 60. Divide nyo lang ng cosine of 83.16. So, P is equivalent to 503.79 Newton. This is 500P. Okay, so this is the final answer. Okay, this is other solution ng resultant natin. You could use itong value na to, r squared is equal to summation of f uh, x squared plus summation of f y squared. Pero this is the simplest um, or simplest and easy way on how to compute the p and alpha. So that's it. I hope makatulong. Thank you.